ಇಷ್ಯತಿ ನರ್ಮ ಅಧರ್ಮ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ತು ಕರಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಕಿಮಶೂನ್ಯ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ನಿ ನಾಚ್ಯಾಧರ್ಮ ಅಧರ್ಮ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ತು ಕರಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಕಿಮಶೂನ್ಯ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ನಿ MMK chapter 24 verse 33 Again nobody will ever practice good or do bad what is there about the non-empty to be practiced a thing that exists unto itself indeed is not practiced so uh, going from the english again cha nobody na kashchid will ever practice jatu ever karishyati will practice third person singular future of kri to do to practice good dharmam or bad adharmam va so dharmam accusative singular masculine dharma adharmam accusative singular masculine of adharma non dharma what goes against dharma that is in the context of dharmam kri means doing good conduct adharmam kri doing bad conduct and uh, i use the word practice for good conduct and uh, doing for bad conduct which kind of follows the uh, in japanese shouaku makusa shuzen bugyo makusa means uh, don't do the word sa in japanese means skuru it means it suggests commit you know has a sense of doing something deliberately whereas shuzen bugyo bugyo means sort of reverently let it happen something like that if you read the, the chapter shouaku makusa in shobogenzo master dogen it kind of explains it like that that uh, our wrong doing is more deliberate whereas uh, practicing the good is sort of what happens naturally so long as we don't do the wrong thing so that shouaku makusa is the first instruction don't do the wrong thing don't practice evil and then the good thing will will, will naturally tend to happen and this is the same principle in that fm alexander advocated stop doing the wrong thing and the right thing tends to do itself so nacha dharmam adharmam va nacha uh, cha again and na not dharmam dharma good conduct adharmam non dharma bad conduct va o kashchit anybody so na kashchit nobody jatu emphatic means ever or at all karishyati will do will practice na cha dharma ma dharma va kashchit jatu karishyati again nobody will ever practice good or do bad so speaking of doing bad in uh, in japanese we have the the confession in a japanese pronunciation of traditional chinese characters ga shaku shozo shoaku go kaiyu mushi donjin chi jushinkui shisho sho isai ga konkai sange so those those words mean that ga shaku shozo i in the past have done shoaku go many bad actions many bad things doing bad mu 
Kaiyu Mushi Donjin Shi. So Kaiyu all stemmed. Mushi without beginning. Donjin Shi. From greed. Dawn is greed. Jin anger. Chi ignorance. Illusion. And the word Mushi without beginning is clarified very much by MMK. Because what is empty is not a thing with a beginning and an end. So those traditional Chinese words point towards emptiness. The uh, greed, anger and ignorance are not things unto themselves which have a beginning and an end. So it's not a question that they started somewhere and our aim is to destroy them. That's, that's what mushi without beginning means. And uh, I didn't appreciate that until I began to study uh, MMK and uh, what Nagar as you know meant by emptiness, which is that, for example, greed, anger and ignorance are empty of their own self-existence. That's what they're empty of. They don't exist as things unto themselves. So uh, to carry on there, Jushin Kui, from or with, Shin body, ku, mouth, e, mind. Ju shin ku yi, shi sho sho. They were done with body, mouth, and mind. So those are the three kinds of conduct by which we accumulate karma formations, as expressed in the opening verse of chapter 26. Punar bhavaya samskaran avidya nivrita strida. Abhi samskuru de yamstair gatim gachati karma bi. That's 26 1 if you want to look it up. We've already covered that one in a YouTube video. So, Isai gakon kai sange. Isai, all of them totally. Ga, I, Con now, Kai totally, Zangye, confess. Isai all, all of them, Ga I, Con now, Zangye, Kai Sangye, totally confess. Na cha dharma ma dharma va, kashchich cha tu karishyati. Again. Nobody will ever practice good or do bad. So Nagarjuna is talking about how it would be in a world of non-empty things. There'd be no possibility of, of hitting the target or missing the target. Next, next line, working from the English. What? Kim? What is there? To be practiced. Kim Kartavyam. Kartavyam is the, uh, the gerundiv, it's called in grammar, of Kri to do or to practice. So Kartavya means to be practiced, to be done. And uh, so Kim Kartavyam is nominative singular neuter. Kim Kartavyam, what is there to be practiced? Ashunyasya, about the non empty or of the non empty. So, uh, Shunya is the empty, Shunyasya, genitive singular of the empty, Ashunyasya, of the non empty. Kim Ashunyasya Kartavyam, what is there? about the non-empty to be practised. Svabhavaha kriyate nahi So a thing that exists unto itself. Svabhavaha Nominative masculine singular. So svabhavaha is otherwise translated as self-existence or intrinsic existence. But in the nominative, nominative singular here it suggests a self-existing thing, an intrinsically existing thing. So bhava 
means existence, but it also means an existent thing. So svabhava, svabhava means self-existence or intrinsic existence, but it also in this context means the self-existing thing, that is a thing that exists unto itself. Kriyate is third person singular passive of kri, to do or to practice. So kriyate is practiced. Is not practiced, kriyate, kriyate na. And he is emphatic here, or you can understand it to mean for. I've translated it as indeed. So a thing that exists unto itself indeed is not practiced. Svabhavaha kriyate nahi. Nacha dharma madharma va kaschichya tu karishyati kimashunyashya kartavyam svabhavaha kriyate nahi. Again, nobody will ever practice good or do bad. What is there about the non-empty to be practised? A thing that exists unto itself indeed is not practised. 